to give you some sweet corn growing tips. When sweet corn grows and it gets up about 12 inches or so, some of this might be a little bit taller, but most of it's kind of, I was actually going by that size over there. One of the first things I do is I add fertilizer. Now, if you remember when I planted beans, I planted beans facing this row to the right. So if you look, I got beans, beans, beans. Same way on all these rows that have beans. It's on the right hand side. So now when you look down this row, you can see there's a line on the left hand side and a line on the left hand side. And that's because I'm digging a trench down through there in order to apply my fertilizer that corn needs to grow and grow well. Now the way that I do that is I use a little pointed handheld hoe and I just go down through there and carve a line in the ground on the left hand side so that I'm away from the beans and then I go back and I shake the fertilizer in and then I go back over and cover it up and kind of stomp it down with my foot a little bit. So let me kind of show you how I do this. I don't have a camera mount so this is going to be fun to do anyways because I don't have that camera mount. But it's very easy. I go within a couple, two or three inches of where the corn starts. I just put this in the ground. I push down and I pull toward me. And I go all the way down through here like this. Now it's kind of hard to do one handed. Normally I get this the right depth and everything the very first time when I'm not trying to record it for YouTube. <laughs> and that's kind of the problem. I'm recording this so that you can see it. So you kind of see how easy this is. It's really not that hard. I don't normally have to go over it twice. All right, so now we got our row done. It's probably only about an inch or two deep. I'm gonna lay this tool down. I'm gonna walk back up here to get my triple 10 fertilizer. Now what I can tell you is I know that this uh, 16 ounce sour cream container full of fertilizer actually weighs almost 16 ounces. It might be a little bit over, might be 18 ounces. Now these rows are probably, I don't know, 12 or 15 feet long. So I do about a half a cup per row. I don't know like what the application rate really is. I'm just telling you what I use every year and this works for me. So basically all I do now, I go down through here and I just add this fertilizer. Try not to get the fertilizer right on the plant. That's kind of important. And I'm actually fertilizing this from the opposite side from what I normally do, just so you can see. I might be able to do it from the other side. It's actually easier from this side. <laughs> and I basically just walk this right down through here. Just like this. Now, if you know anything about fertilizer, especially triple 10, that's a slow release fertilizer, you know it has to be in contact with the soil for it to even work. And what I mean by that is you have to cover the fertilizer up with soil. So it's laying in the soil and has soil on top of it. Then the microbes in the soil breaks the fertilizer down so that it works. So you can see I used about a half a cup, half of this container full then what I do, I sit that down, I go back over here, I go right up, cover this up like this, and as I'm moving forward, I'm taking my foot and also tamping down that that I've already covered up. You ain't got to step on it with like your full weight, but you just want to keep it so that the soil don't get washed off if it rains. 
is really the reason why I'm doing that. Now, there's another step that you have to do with corn, but we're not at that stage yet, and that is you got to heal your corn. Same way that you heal your potato plants. The way that I do that is I wait until the roots are starting to show up on the top of the soil. Like you'll see the corn roots start to appear, and then that's when I go down and heal the corn up. I kind of use the same process. I go on either side of the corn with that little hand tool. I cut a trench which moves the soil in closer. And I cover those roots up. Now I go a little bit deeper when I do that too. Again, I'm just releasing all of these tips and tricks that I said if I beat camper cancer, I was going to do a brain dump on everything I do on my homestead. There was going to be no secrets withheld. And this is how I do it. So hopefully you found this interesting. If you watch this video and you learn something new, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Share this video with you thank anybody who would appreciate it. And as always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.